Hello everyone. Today we are going to start the first chapter of class 9th NCERT textbook. The chapter is called The Fun They Had and it is written by Isaac Asimov. Okay. Uh, before you read, let's talk a little about the schools of future. I had given you, I had shared this link to a video, YouTube video, uh, with you some time back. I have shared the link in the description as well. I want you to look at that video before starting to read this chapter. Now, this video shows us what schools in the future might look like. It talks about a world 50 years from now and how technology will take care of so many things in the classroom. Um, what, uh, how the books are being replaced, how there is no blackboard. The school still has a teacher, but the other things have been replaced. You can carry everything with you and the tablet that the kids are carrying in the video. They uh, are like a remote to everything. They can access everything through uh, that tablet. Uh, everything is technologically governed. Uh, most of the things are tablets, uh, most of the classroom boards, the tables, everything has been given that access through technology. And any surface can be changed or transformed into a learning workspace. Okay, so... Uh, Keeping that in mind, I would want you to look at this picture here. Schools of the future, learning through computers, virtual classrooms, moving e-text. So instead of you moving the book up and down, the text moves. Okay, text is moving along the picture, along the screen and you have to read it. Robotic teachers, there is no manual teachers. Now, if there is no teacher, which means there is no need for a classroom or a school as well. The school can come to your home. You don't have to go out. Look at the second picture. This girl is sitting inside a room. There's a rob robo behind her. You can see how uh, the entire workspace where she's sitting is designed such that the entire school can be accessed from this little space. This is her classroom. It's a virtual classroom, not a real classroom. The learning is happening on the computer. Okay, and as we read the chapter, we will also know how did she do her work, how did she submit her assignments and all those things. Okay, going back to the video in reference, that video shows the world 50 years from now. Okay, now try to imagine a world which is 150 years from now. 50 years may there has been so much of technological advancements. Imagine 150 years may kitna ho jayega, right? So the story that we're going to read today talks about year 2157, almost 130 years from now. And it's talks about two kids, a brother and a sister, and how they studied, okay? The classrooms they had, whether they liked it or not, and we get to know that these kids find a diary, a book, which, it's not a diary, sorry, it's a book that tells about schools of the past, okay? And the kind of classrooms that we have today. Imagine Ajka classroom, the way it is now is being read about 130 years from now. Okay, so unke liye this is history. They're reading about historical classrooms, classrooms of the olden times, right? Okay, so um, <clears throat> let's get on to the chapter now. I would want you to do one little assignment and submit it to me individually. Imagine that you belong to this time, year 2157, okay? What kind of a classroom do you think you would have? I would want you to uh, read this chapter. Once you finish reading the chapter, create a classroom of your own. It can be similar to the one these two kids have, Margie, 
uh, Margie's classroom can be your, uh, you know, rough. It can give you ideas for your rough draft, but then you can also go different and think creatively and create your own classrooms. Okay, now let's start reading the chapter. Please read along. Margie even wrote about it that night in her diary. On the page headed 17th May 2157, she wrote, Today, Tommy found a real book. Look at the word, real book. Right? What does a real book mean? It is different from the books that she has been reading. It was a very old book. Margie's grandfather once said that when he was a little boy, his grandfather told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper. This book is printed on paper. It is different from their books. Okay, so Margie is writing her diary. You will be studying diary entry in class 9th as well. So, on top of the diary, uh, you have to write the date and this is the date, 17th May 2157 and she's writing about something different that has happened with her. Tommy found a real book, okay? She had never seen a real book, she had only heard. Her grandfather had said that when he was young, his grandfather told him. Even, his, even Margie's grandfather has not seen it. He had only heard about it that there were stories written, sorry, stories printed on paper long time back. They turned the pages which were yellow. Who is they here? They is Margie and Tommy, okay? So they have this book that they found. They're turning the pages which were yellow and yellow. Crinkly. Crinkly means it, they ha it has lots of folds or lines. When you fold a paper, make a ball out of it and then straighten it out again, it has lots of folds. It is crinkly. And it was awfully funny to read words that stood still instead of moving the way they were supposed to. Okay, look at this. They say that it was funny to read words which were still. The words were not moving the way they were supposed to. Right? So Margie and Tommy, in their books, the words move. They don't have to turn pages, but the words move on their own. On a screen, you know. And then when they turned back to the page before, it had the same words on it that it had had when they read it the first time. Okay, so the words not only don't move, they also stay at the same place. But it is different in Tommy and Margie's books. Once they move ahead, the words change. Gee, said Tommy, what a waste. When you threw the book, threw with the book, you just throw it away, I guess. So he's saying once you finish reading the book, pura ho gaya, which means now you can get get away with the book, leave it, throw it away. Okay? He's guessing, I guess. Okay? So what can you do with the book that you've already read? You don't have to read it again, so you throw it away. Our television screen must have had a million books on it, and it's good for plenty more. It's like your mobile phones these days. So, uh, for example, if you keep books on your mobile or if you keep pictures on your mobiles, okay? So, it has 1,000 pictures and there is space for 1,000 more. The television screen works like that. It has over a million books and it's good for plenty more. There is space for more pictures, sorry, more books to come in, just like more pictures on a phone. I won't throw it away. You don't even need to throw it away. If there is memory, if there is space, you can either delete or because there is enough space, you don't have to delete. You can keep it. There's no need to throw it away until and unless it gets damaged or it needs repair work or there is a better model available. 
in that case you might replace it same with mine said marjie she saying i agree with you my uh, television screen is also like this she was 11 and had not seen as many telly books as tommy had he was 13 okay so basically tommy has read more books now look at the word it is telly book just like the word television right so you can see your books on a screen she said where did you find it in my house he pointed without looking because he was busy reading in the attic so she asked him where did you find it and he says in in my house in the attic now attic is the top most room in a house but indian houses usually don't have an attic okay so houses that have a sloping roof they generally have the top roof which is an attic okay what is it about school marji was scornful okay she she is not interested school what is there to write about a school i hate school why would somebody write a book about a school she is not interested she feels it's a, it's not important to write about the school marji always hated school but now she hated it even more now this is important why does marji hate her school the mechanical teacher look at this the teacher is a machine the mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in geography and she had been doing worse and worse until her mother had shaken her head sorrowfully and sent for the county inspector okay so she had to take tests in geography and she was doing worse and worse every test she was scoring low marks so her, her mother had to call the county inspector somebody who would look at the mechanical teacher the machine he was a round little man with a red face and a whole box of tools with dials and wires He smiled at Margie and gave her an apple then took the teacher apart took the teacher apart means opened up the machine he opened to see what is wrong with the machine now look at the fact that this is a round little man the county inspector is a human being who is looking after the machine Margie had hoped he wouldn't know how to put it together Margie is hoping she wants that the county inspector shouldn't know agar usko nahi pata hoga then he will have to take the machine home right but he knew how all right and after an hour or so there it was again large and black and ugly she does not like her book with the big screen on which all the lessons were shown and the questions were asked now how does teaching happen there is a big screen on which all the lessons were shown and the questions were asked that wasn't so bad the part marji hated the most was the slot where she had to put homework and test paper so there is a slot a space where you have to put your homework and test papers marji hated that the most basically means that she did not like doing her homework and test papers i am sure many of you would relate to it she always had to write them out in a punch code they made her learn when she was 6 years old and the mechanical teacher calculated the marks in no time now this is important she had to learn a special language to write her answers for the machine to read the machine is not able to read handwriting so she has to write in a punch code and the code she learnt very young when she was 6 years old 
she would write her assignment put it in the slot for homework and the machine will calculate the marks in no time okay the next paragraph the inspector had smiled after he was finished and patted margie's head he said to her mother it's not the little girl's fault mrs jones i think the geography sector was geared a little too quick the speed of the geography sector was set at fast okay so margie was in for example if she is in class 6 level so the machine is asking her questions of a higher level it was geared a little too quick it was moving very quickly those things happen sometime i've showed i slowed it up to an average 10 year level so he says that now the machine is as per margie's level and it will work fine actually the overall pattern of her progress is quite satisfactory so he tells mrs jones that nothing to worry about margie is studying well the machine was wrong and he patted margie's head again margie was disappointed she had been hoping that they would take the teacher away altogether they had once taken tommy's teacher away for nearly a month because the history sector had blanked out completely blanked out completely is like got deleted okay so once when tommy's teacher uh, history sector was deleted they had to take the machine for a month so she was hoping maybe they will take her machine as well okay we will stop here look at just read this last line so she said to tommy why would anyone write about school okay so we know that these two kids found this book it's about the school and margie talks about her teacher how she was unhappy because the geography sector was giving her test after test so she was in happy and she was doing unsatisfactorily she was failing her test and she was hoping that they would take the machine away we get a quick look into margie's world what kind of a school she has and the next paragraph they go back to the old kind of schools she asks tommy why would anyone write about school they are talking about the old schools again which we'll read in which we'll read in the next part of the chapter no sorry the next class uh, i'd like to end the class here please remember your assignment imagine that you are living in the same time as margie what would your school look like write a paragraph Uh, if you choose to write a story you're most welcome if you want to write a poem you're most welcome anything would work a diary entry would also work please do it and submit it to me as you know how you have to